on street corners dressed like superheroes and barbarians just yelling at people. All y'all want to do is no shit? What purpose do that serve? Y'all don't got no money. Every time I see y'all, y'all on the corner somewhere, freezing or sweating. Y'all ain't got no building. Y'all don't make no bread. Y'all contribute shit, but to cause co confusion and disruption amongst people. Y'all don't help nobody, bro. Dead ass. Bunch, bunch of fucking angry black men trying to find their way. Won't y'all go get a job, son? Huh? Won't y'all find a way to bring some money to your organization so y'all can help people? Only thing I see you niggas do is yell at people and insult people. Y'all don't contribute shit to society. Now, niggas, you got spikes on your fucking wrist and you got a terminate cake. I'm supposed to listen to you, son? Fuck out of here, man. Y'all niggas look like a 70s street gang. That shit is nasty work, son. I can't stand you niggas respectfully. I don't give a fuck how much you know, nigga. I just want to know shit. My kids can't eat no books, nigga. Get some money. Broke ass, angry niggas, man. Y'all get on my nerves. That people. All y'all want to want to say this shit. Some third niggas get on my fucking nerves. All right, Shalom. This is Brother Yuanathan. Bada Alawam coming at you with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shemel Shah. First and foremost, as always, I want to start by giving all praises and glorifications to Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shah, Ba'asham, Rakakadash, the abundance of the apostles and elders that agree with and well. Peace, love, salutations to the hopeful, elect throughout the four corners of the preacher's word and truth and in sincerity. Shalom. All right. And of course, uh, what you have here is a uh, brother's been doing a lesson on this nigga too. Uh, a typical Babylonian reprobate ass butt hurt uh, um, nigga right here, coon nigga right here, man. All right, that has obviously has a problem with the word, has a problem with the uh, the, the Hebrew Israelites, you know, teaching the Bible. You know, as many of you you niggas out here um, have uh, have man a, a problem with the scriptures, man. When it's for your benefit, okay. And, and um, I was showing brothers this uh, yesterday at fellowshipping at the camp. You know, brother uh, 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 put in the chat. You know, and um, the brother, uh, one of the brothers had a good point. Like, what, why are you niggas so mad at us for, man? You know, what what, what you so mad about? Right? What, what, why are you so angry at us, man? And this dude talking about um, being angry. You damn right we angry. We, we angry at the oppression. You know, the, the hell, uh, being under this fucking devil, you know, catching hell from our own fucking people, especially our women, you know, and we supposed to just love it here and, and just, just want to stay here. And then they're just talking about getting money. Hey, the dollar's about to collapse, man. That's all niggas fucking worried about is getting quote unquote money. And he don't even know what real money is, you know? Talking about all we, uh, <laughs> Want to do is just know stuff, man. Hey, you damn right, man. It's, hey, knowledge, you know. It, it, hey, this wisdom, knowledge, understanding is the greatest thing you can ever have. Let me get that scripture, man. You know, cause I don't want to rant too much, man. But niggas like this, man, they just need to die, man. Just straight up, man. Let me get wisdom is better than uh, rubies. Start off with that, man, cause you niggas just gotta go, man. Niggas with a mindset like that. Man, I hate to be around niggas with that kind of mindset. Don't have a, a ruling class mentality. All they want to do is, is is worry about chasing a fucking bag, man. You know? This shit's about to crumble. This society is collapsing. All you niggas, that's all the fuck you niggas worried about, man. All right? So this is Proverbs 8 and 11. It says, for wisdom is better than rubies. And all the things that may be desired are not to be compared to it. So... It's talking about this wisdom, knowledge, understanding, man. Proverbs 8 and 11, right? It says, um, for wisdom is better than rubies. Yeah, because it, it's compared to riches. This is the greatest riches you can have, man. It's talking about all you want to do is stand on the corner and know shit. He's just mad because he don't know shit. He don't have, hey, the, the most high then um, bless him with the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Okay, that uh, the true man, well, I got to clarify, you know. That the true men of the Lord have, starting with our apostles at Great Millstone, because you got other camps, okay, that don't don't really have this uh wisdom, man, because they they carnal minded, they they're not spiritual, 
You know, the Most High is not dealing with them. And they, they're going off with false doctrines. So I had to be pacific there, you know. <laughs> All right. But, hey, mainly, you, hey, when you say, um, when you're talking about the ones that know, that have, uh, uh, stand on the corner and know shit, so to speak, you're really talking about the true men in the Lord that, that really possess this wisdom, knowledge, understanding, because the scriptures say this, okay? And this is what that reprobate is not going to have, man, in a time of calamity. Because all, all he worried about is getting money, right? So this is Isaiah 33 and 6. It says, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability, which going that word stability, it goes into faith, right? It says, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation, which is the goal, being saved from the common calamities, the destruction, right? The fear of the Lord is his treasure. And also, we've got to have the fear right along with faith of the Lord. Like I say all the time, two key ingredients we must have as men of the Lord, faith and fear. Okay? Let me read this part again. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. So this nigga right here don't fear the Lord, you know, because he... He he's saying we like a bunch of superheroes with capes. This should be off for years, respectfully to the black Hebrew. See the black, black. Man, he, he saw them play it on that narrative uh, uh, real well, man. And when he get ready to roll on us, man, you know he's gonna he's gonna start using that more. The black, we start really, you know, um, publicizing us, so to speak, to demonize us. He's gonna um, use that word black a lot. You know, he got you niggas using it. But little do you niggas know, like this nigga right here, y'all going to be part of the persecution too because he coming after all of Jake. This nigga going to be a prime prime on target. Hey, the, the Lord going to make him a prime target of Jacob Trouble, man. Or I can see it, man. He going to be in a fucking concentration camp. Hey, he he, he most likely going to take the chip. Okay, since he love Babylon so fucking much, man. Okay, you're going to take the chip, man. The Lord, hey, the Lord's going to put the spirit on Esau to chip you. And hey, he's going to put the spirit on you to take the chip. Okay? So he's all you all you worried about is, is getting money. So talk, talk about we're bombs and we don't have no jobs. A lot of brothers got better jobs than you. All right? It's just the ignorance that comes out of fucking Jake's mouth too, man. You know? But, hey, the, the Lord says this, man. Let me get that. Every idle word. Men shall speak. type it in here. I know it's in Matthew Slocky. Let's get it uh bear with me real quick. This is the book of uh Matthew twelve and thirty six it says but I say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment so every idle word he spoke in the video i just played he's gonna have to get an account for man in the day of judgment because the lord is bringing a heavy judgment nowadays on on reprobate niggas man hey let alone these women a lot of these women getting judged all right these women getting judged and you niggas getting judged man you, i'm talking about the israelite you israelite men and women out here man Okay, the Lord's starting to bring heavy judgment. Okay, and, and a lot of you have been coming up talking shit against the men of the Lord. All right, and again, we're only uh, um, we're trying to reprove you, uh, uh, edify, and, and um, hope that that uh, you come back to the Lord and repent. All right, and possibly be saved. And you come up against us, man. You talk shit about us. You scoff on your comment board. Okay, talking shit. Hey, the, the angel's marking y'all dumb asses, man. All right? And best believe the angel marked this dumb ass nigga right here. You know? This reprobate demon right here, man. And the Lord's going to... Hey, the Lord got a heavy judgment for him, man. All right? As well as you other niggas out here that come up against the truth. The Lord got heavy judgments coming. Because the Lord said there's going to be scoffers in the last days. Let's get that. And I'm going to get ready to wrap up. Okay, this is, uh, what, 2 Peter 3 and 3? It says, okay, 2 Peter 
chapter 3, verse 3, it says, Knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers, walking after their own lusts. See? Walking after their own lusts, man. All right? Because they love this world. They want to, they, they don't, um, they don't want to see Babylon destroyed. Okay? They can't, they can't um, see themselves ruling uh, and having um, slaves and, and being over their, their enemies, man. Because they love oppression. Scriptures speak about how Jake love oppression, man. They don't, they don't know um, a better, they don't know no other way besides being low, okay? And being uh, degenerate, being fucking niggas, okay? That's all a nigga know how to do, be a, a, be a goddamn nigga, it, being ignorant. Like, it's cool to be fucking ignorant and being a goddamn nigga, man. All right? They they, they, they put that on um, a pedestal, being a nigga on a fucking pedestal, okay? And, and being a, um, a, having a, um, a, a ruling class mentality, a royalty mindset on, um, on the bottom, man, on the bottom of the total pole, man. You know? This place is fucked as a uh, mind fuck you niggas, man. Excuse my French. Verse four says, and saying, where is the promise of his coming? Because y'all don't think the Lord is going to come, really. Y'all don't really, you ain't really looking for uh, a Yahweh shot to return. A lot of you go to church, all right, and, and be like, I can't wait till the Lord comes back. See, you don't, you nigga, the problem is y'all don't know the Lord, man. A lot of y'all still believe that the Lord is a so-called white man, Okay. Y'all, a lot of y'all believe y'all the Gentiles and th those uh, rats over there calling themselves the people, you know, are the real, the real chosen. All right. So it says, in saying, where is the promise of his coming? Where since the fathers slept, all slept. Sorry. Where since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation. Y'all think America is going to go on forever, man. Okay. Y'all don't see uh, us as men of the Lord when we out there prophesying. I'm talk again, I'm talking to about the true men out there on the highways and byways. Starting with the apostles, the, the men of Great Millstone and the other brothers that teach the same like-minded doctrine. Okay? Y'all don't see us as men of the Lord. Y'all see us as bombs. That's why dude said, uh, well, don't y'all get a job, son? Get a job, son. Not knowing that a lot of us already got jobs. Some of, some of us got two jobs, three jobs, maybe, you know, but this is our number one job is prophesying his word, warning the people. That's why we blowing the trumpet. OK, and the scriptures say we're going to be hated, man. OK, we're not going to be taught well of. OK. Hey, the scriptures say we're going to be hated of all men, but I'm going to get. Uh, let me see. I want to get. This in Luke. Where it says, woe unto you. We don't, we don't be, we, like I said, we don't supposed to be spoken well of any damn way. Right, that's spirit. Hey, Luke 6 and 26 says, woe unto you, which means destruction. Woe. Remember uh, the word woe is an old, old English term meaning destruction. Right? It says, woe unto you when all men shall speak well of you. For so did their fathers to the false prophets. So. We're not supposed to be spoken well of. We're t supposed to be talked shit, uh, shit about, man, so to speak. Okay, they're supposed to mock the messengers, like it says in uh, Second uh, Chronicles, man. Okay, so it say, says again, woe unto you when all when all men shall speak well of you. If somebody's speaking well of you all the time, you're supposed to be in the truth, supposed to be a prophet, there's something wrong, something ain't right with that picture, man. You ain't doing something right, right? It says, for so did their fathers to the false prophets. So if you're a false prophet, you're going to be spoken more well of, man. That's why these other camps, man, they get a lot of women in their camps. All right? We don't have a lot of women in Great Millstone because, hey, we, we, don't, we don't kiss women ass, man. Just, to, just to, uh, throw that out as an example, you know? You know those uh, uh, camps with a lot of women, like I said before. You know that um, a lot of times they ain't even right anyway, man. That something's wrong with them, man. You know, a lot of times they're gonna be teaching false doctrine or preaching full uh, 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 smooth words. 
Okay, they ain't gonna uh, talk uh, um, bluntly or uh, um, rough like a great, uh, like real men, like a great millstone. Okay, they ain't gonna have like a, a a zero tolerance when it comes to these damn women, like great millstone man. So that's why they get a lot of women like IUIC. <laughs> Just to name one example, man. So guys like that amongst Israel uh, are, are getting uh. Are spoken well of, man. Let alone these uh port shop being pastors in these so-called churches. So if you're you're a true prophet, you're a true man of the Lord, you're not going to be spoken well of, man. Okay, that's just point blank and, and period to the point. If scriptures say a prophet shall not have no uh, honor in his own country, okay, that only concern uh, uh concerns real men of the Lord. All right. So, I'm going ahead and end it off on that, you know. <clears throat> I'm going to say again, uh, Lord willing. Oh, yeah, Lord willing, this is edifying. I'm going to say again, all praises and glorification goes to Yahweh. By Shem, Yahweh, Shah, by Shem, Kakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elevate great ministry and well. Peace, love, and salutation to the whole four elect throughout the four corners of the earth. Preaching this word in truth and in sincerity. Say, Shalom, call me out, Shalom, and the Bob, the Bob, Shalom.